Hi, yeah, it's Anne Hughes here. Um, it's Thursday. Um, I have been in lockdown for two months and um, yeah, I wanted to pick another card. Thanks again for the lovely feedback and messages that you have been sending me for my wee cards. I actually picked the card last night because now I've done so many, um, I don't want to pick the same card while I'm filming. Um, and I'm glad I did because the card I picked last night was Clarity. And I've sort of had it next to my bed and been thinking about it for quite a while. And I think, wow, two months, I think gives you some clarity around a few things, doesn't it? And the first thing that I sort of, an analogy I wanted to draw on it was, and you've probably heard this before, but if you can imagine um, a puddle that you've just been stamping in, and it's got all muddy, and it's you can't see the water, you can't see anything, you've dropped your keys in it, for example and you can't see your keys and you need to wait for the water to settle and then you can see your keys because when the water settles and all the dirt and muddy bits fall to the bottom the water actually looks quite clear but while it's been all trampled up it just looks like a big muddy messy puddle and I think that's probably what a lot of your lives have looked like in recent time and and that's not a criticism at all. Life gets busy, stuff gets in the way, priorities multiply and multiply, directions come off everywhere and, and life gets busy and that's the same for all of us. So it's not a criticism at all. But what it is, is a recognition that spending this time at home has probably let quite a lot of water settle. It's let clarity come to the fore. And probably whether you've recognised it or not yet, you could be quite a lot clearer on, on quite a lot of things. Because time and distance gives you clarity. Without a doubt, time and distance gives you clarity. Now, we've all had time, if you've allowed yourself to have the time and not just been busy, you know, painting and decorating and doing all that stuff all the time, cleaning cupboards. If you have given, I'm imagining that anybody who was doing that has probably run out of stuff like that to do now. And so if you've not given yourself time yet, I would urge you to give yourself time now. Because when you have clarity, you see the world in a completely different way. You see your life in a completely different way. And it's really such a gift. I'm doing a, a daily programme just now with a teacher, Michael Neal. I think I spoke about it the other day. And yesterday, I really had such clarity on something that I have believed for my entire life. And I realised it was only a thought. Um, at the risk of oversharing, I'll go for it. Um, my mum died when I was 14 in leukaemia. You've probably heard me speak about that before, maybe. And obviously I wasn't well three years ago when I had my brain aneurysm and almost died. And for over 30 years, I have believed, and I mean really, really, really believed that I would die young, that I would die in my 40s. I always believed it. I didn't talk about it. I didn't question it. I just knew it. I believed that I knew that and that it was certainty. And therefore, when I woke up, after my brain aneurysm and I was in the hospital and it was a few weeks later and I understood what was happening because that took a wee while, I wasn't even remotely surprised because I always knew something was going to happen. And I got a lot of help to recover from my brain injury. But if I'm honest, I still believed that if I didn't fulfil my purpose, if I didn't do the things that I set up that I promised myself I would do in the early days of my recovery in order to recover, that I would die. Yesterday, I realised it was all a thought. It wasn't real. The water settled and I gained clarity on that. How amazing is that? And I would not have got that clarity if I had not been at home for the last two months and I had not had the ability to be able to go and do these daily calls with Michael Neal every night that I'm doing just now. Um, it's not just me and him, there's like 600 people in there. Um, and I've not spoken to him or anything, but everything he says has got me to that point. I feel as if my level of clarity today has changed my entire world. I don't know what I'm going to do with this clarity that I've got today. 
but I can tell you I feel freer, I feel lighter, I feel less burdened, I feel surer and unsure because all the things I thought were certain, bullshit. If that can be wrong, a belief I have held since I was 14 years of age, if that can be wrong, what else am I sure of? And that could be a scary concept for some people. For me, it's a freeing concept. It absolutely frees me because all the beliefs I've got about what people think, what people are saying, why this worked, why that didn't work, oh, it's all gone. And so I invite you all to have a conversation with yourself and to enter a place of clarity. What is clear for you in these days? And if you've not managed to get to any clarity yet, take some time in the coming weeks, because I'm sure we're not going anywhere, anywhere to, so anytime soon, in the coming weeks, to think about the things that you have believed have been true for you. The relationships that have been right, the decisions that have been right, that you just have always assumed were true. And they're not. How utterly transformational. I feel like a different person today. And so I urge you all to find some clarity. And I actually chose that card before I had as much clarity just now as I have just now. This time, when I chose that card last night, I had a wee bit of clarity, but not as much as I've now got this morning, sort of a 12 hours later. And I'm thinking, God, what will I be like by the end of the day? What will I be like by the morrow? What will I be like by next month, next year? Oh my goodness. And all of it without the fear or the belief that I'm going to die in my 40s. Wow. I don't know what it's like not to believe that. Have a good Thursday and I'll speak to you soon.